<laughs> oh, right, uh, but would you like me to read it to you a little? Yeah! yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let's see, what happened? The other day, I was at the zoo, went to the zoo recently, it kinda sucked. The zoo only had one dog. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> I tried to make it better by taking some acid, but I took some antacid, so nothing happened. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. Uh, let's see. This next joke is called a fallacy. It's a lie about my penis. <laughs> um, when I was about 17, I was a camp counselor, and I had this new boss. I really hated her. She wanted me to read to the kids. Which I didn't want to do, but she made me do it. So, as an act of rebellion, I read from the kids from, to the kids from this book called The Man Book. And in the book, it had 1,000 names for your penis. Which I read to the kids. They were 13, so they sounded hysterical. <laughs> and by the end of it, they had chosen some interesting names, like um, uh, the Baby Maker, the Purple-Headed Uncle, the Charleston Chew. <laughs> uh, so after that, one of them goes up to me and goes, Hey, uh, Jacob, what's, um, what's your penis's name? The Admiral. <laughs> Why the Admiral? For he commands an army of seamen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> um, so I have kind of a weird view of my self-esteem. It's not like good, it's not bad, it's just odd. Like, uh... Like the other day, I went to visit my friend at work, and he works with this really hot girl. So I walk in there, and we start talking, and she's flirting with me a little bit, which is cool. So after that, my friend goes up to me like, dude, dude, that, that was amazing. I've worked with her for over a year. I've never seen her flirt with any guy before. I go, huh, I wonder if she knows I'm a guy. <laughs> so I was also thinking, there are a lot of rich people in the world today, a lot of people with a lot of money. It's weird none of them have chosen to be Batman at this point. <laughs> like, they could literally do anything. Why don't they want to spend their money being a goddamn superhero? Then I was thinking, what if rich people got, like, superpowers based off what made them rich? Like, you know, the guy who owns sleep used to, like, shoot mattresses at people. <laughs> Hugh Hefner could, like, shoot women at people. OJ could, like, shoot women. <laughs> That was just a joke. We all know he stabbed her. <laughs> um, let's see. They say behind every great man is a great woman, which is bullshit. Especially if you look at one of America's greatest icons, Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> There's no woman behind him, in front of him, anywhere really. And if you don't get that joke, you're gay. <laughs> um, let's see. So I broke up with my girlfriend a little while ago. Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 Wow, you all met her. <laughs> That's amazing. So then you must know her name's Jenna. My name's Jacob. And we had kind of. One, the worst thing is we had like a terrible couple name, you know when like they smushed the names together? Like, our couple name was either Jacob or Jenna. <laughs> and that's never really worked for me in any relationship. Like, I was dating a girl named Terry. Our couple name was either Jerry, which is already a name, or Take Up, which sounds like more of a command. Like, take up basket weaving, you Jew. <laughs> so, I think if President Obama were in the movie Moulin Rouge, He'd have to change his campaign slogan to, yes, we can, can, can. <laughs> if he were eating fruit and couldn't get married, yes, we can't elope. <laughs> and finally, if he worked in a kitchen supply store and were part of a team performing surgery on a woman, yes, we can open her. <laughs> wow. ah. So, a little while ago, I, I went to this party. And I finally got online for the uh, cake. But the cake line is pretty long, so I decided I don't want to wait. So I just go up to the guy with my cup in hand. I go, excuse me, 
But I, can I be served next? He asked me why. Because I'm an attractive woman. I'd like to drink, please. Dude just stares at me for a minute, not knowing how to react. After a minute, he just goes, You're very pretty. Enjoy. So I kiss him on the cheek and move on. Uh, later on, I'm talking to this girl, and she... Oh yeah, she told me she wanted to, she wanted me to grind with her, which was awkward because I had never done that before. So I asked my friend, hey, uh, I've never really grinded with a woman, what, 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 how do I do this? He goes, okay, there are three rules to grinding with a woman. Don't get hard, don't get an erection, and don't get a boner. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll try. So I go off, I do that, do my thing, come back a few minutes later, my friend goes, dude, how'd it go? How did you, how did you do? I'm like, uh, I, I think I did okay. I only broke two out of the three rules. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm Jacob Steiner. Woo!